And it's the latest celebrity news, the latest showbiz stories and the latest entertainment headlines right here on Tea Time, your favourite entertainment news programme. I'm Tokumbo Taibo and as usual, I've got those who always make sure there's never a dull moment on the programme. It's Elsie Godwin, it's Ife Oshunkeye and it's Ife Omai. Hi guys. Hello. So, um... What's up with Stoneboy and Shatawali? It's um, a story, is it? <laughs> Yeah. They are the first people. Oh, okay. uh, so we're coming <laughs> to me on this yes, one. Yes, we are. Okay, yeah, okay. So the whole drama started on, um, in, um, the Vodafone Ghana over music the weekend. Mm -hmm. And yes, and um, Stoneboy kind of pulled out a gun, right? While Shatawali was walking towards the stage doing his um, acceptance speech for the best dancehall artist in Ghana. And that has been like all over the news everybody's talking about it but when Stoneboy um, did his apology he said um, you've seen the threats from Shatawale over the scruffle they've been going mm -hmm. on all about and um, he had to come prepared so in my mind I'm like coming prepared does that mean coming with a mm. gun do you understand you could come with a better security detail you could come with a lot of things mm -hmm. I'm not supporting Shatawale I'm also saying Shatawale was wrong because um, the conspiracy theory is that um, it was actually walking to the stage to congratulate him because this is the fifth consecutive time that Stoneboy Stone is Boy winning and Shatawali mm -hmm. is like the biggest dancer artist if you want to be realistic. But he has this thing going on but with Voda. No, with Vodafone. They've mm -hmm. had issues back and forth with the organizers. At some point, they were not even nominating him. They were not inviting him to the awards. Well, even Nickelodeon gave it to Stoneboy too. Right. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's not yeah, just yeah. a Everybody Vodafone know, thing. The awards are given it to Stoneboy, but people mm -hmm. are saying it's Shatawale. So Guys, let's not do that argument there. now. No, I'm not even <laughs> doing that <laughs> argument. If I round up on you, just, what yeah, you say? So basically, it's just crazy. And Stoneboy was arrested, and um, they were both arrested for um, mm -hmm. disturbing the peace. Okay, um, if I, I want to ask you, because I heard, but I'm not sure. I was like, maybe you would have some better info. Someone said it wasn't actually Stoneboy uh, that brought the gun, that it was part of the guys that were together no, with him, and no, that they no, passed no. it. There's a video him. where yes, he I know. pulled out the they gun saw an and earlier... his guys were No, no, ones. no. Before it got to that stage where they showed that video. Mm -hmm. Because someone said they saw another video from the very beginning when the guys were actually um, scrambling and that someone passed it from the team. That someone raised the gun up and actually passed it onto him before it got Stoneboy. Um, okay, well, I have well, a it doesn't even really matter because yeah. he pulled yeah, out he, he, he and he has never come out taking the gun saying, or not I taking the gun. And yeah. then both of them have been um, in court recently. Yeah, and they've been out on bail on 50,000 GHC, mm -hmm. and um, that's Ghana cities, and um, basically, it's more like um, they've been charged for different counts. They've both been charged for disturbing the peace, mm -hmm. and um, but, um, uh, Stoneboy, Stoneboy has extra. is, yeah, Stoneboy is on his extra because he oh, had good? an unlicensed weapon, waving an unlicensed weapon oh, in a public unlicensed? place. Yeah, mm. wow. Wow. yeah, mm -hmm. so no, without permission. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can't say not licensed. Mm -hmm. We're even a gun Why, without you know it was permission. licensed? No, we don't know that. So right. I don't want to say that for a fact if the mm -hmm. gun okay. was licensed or not. Mm -hmm. But the charge is that um, without permission. Permission. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, um, it's been postponed to a certain time in June for mm -hmm. the final, um, is it the final? June 20th, June 20th, yeah. yeah. Okay, and um, I think the organizers, oh, I can't remember their name now for the life of me, they also um, had some certain issues with the both of them uh, during this, um, what did they call it now, the, the hearing. They also had certain issues that they raised um, concerning both of the um, artists. And in their statements, they were saying that, you know, um, artists should know how to conduct themselves, you yeah. know, and they were a bit disappointed, you know, that they yeah. came to, to that. All right, anyone with any final thoughts on this before we move on? I just think um, this just buttresses the point if I was making when Liu Wen refused to research. So, That's what I said immediately. Yeah. I, okay, I was telling Elsie yeah, because we are not you around. And I and I yes, I was yeah. saying if that keeps coming yeah. to my mind yeah, when we're talking about um, that story. It just resonated that, mm -hmm. okay, now I don't think any artist should be above the law because if a stone boy had a gun, nobody would have expected a stone boy to pull out a gun mm -hmm. on stage. So I think I go with the fair on this one. Okay, so uh, moving on to our next story now. Aike Ogona's wife, uh, Sonia Lareina, uh, says she suffered from depression for uh, years. 
Okay, Elsie, you didn't like my pronunciation. Perhaps you should pronounce it in a no, better way. Just... It was what? <laughs> too detailed it for your life. Sweet, I, I never knew that was how the name was pronounced. Oh, how, how would you, you say it? it? I don't know. I just mm. said it in the way that I thought. You know, oh. perhaps I'm wrong. Let's so not tell say me. Say it again, let me. Oh, I just want to try. No, I just want to try. Say it again. Yeah, right. Say it again. You guys. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so who wants to go first on this story? Maybe we should start with you, you fair lady. Um, yeah, so the, she's 28, she's mm -hmm. pretty young. Okay. Uh, checking out her age, and she's been going through depression for a long time. Um, I also liked, I'm, I read up on her story and all that she's been through. First of all, she's very pretty, very mm -hmm. interesting to look at. Um, um, and they it's make just, a good couple, don't they? I guess so. I mean, okay. are they even still a couple? Oh, well, I think they're still working on it. I think that's why you used maid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry? I said, I guess that's why you said maid. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I guess so. Um, I mean, it's interesting that she... I know that from what I was researching, she's come out about this depression thing before today. Mm -hmm. So it's not like sh it's some new. cloud thing where... Because depression is kind of trending now as well. So I know it's not. this is not what that is. She's actually battled with it before today. Um, and I liked how she put it. I like that she's honest about it. It's the first time she's been in a happy place and mm -hmm. that she also described the illness as well to make you look like it's a lot more real and, and I know what I'm talking about and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy for her. Okay. The issue that I have, I well, I don't know, is in terms of like the duration in which she says she's had it. You know, last year when she said, you know, she, she's battled depression, she said she, she's battled it for like a year. And then now she comes up and says it's for years. So mm. I'm like, okay, what were you saying then? What are you saying now? You know, th yeah, other than that. Last that's... year plus this year. You no, know, no, she said she's in a good place now. She's no longer. Okay. No, I'm just saying. She just that, started, like... though. Hmm? Hmm? This year just started. <laughs> no, we're in the she can't add it into like many we're, years. We're in the if I is trying to be the mm. lawyer, we're in the fifth month already. <laughs> so, so you can't, we can't call that years. Exactly. Thank well, you. Well, when just... you are twenty-one, and then people ask you how old are you, and your birthday is in about five months, you tell them what? I'm twenty-two, right? But that's very different. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is like I this is such a like a different context. I mean, I didn't. I totally agree. Okay. Okay. All the best. All right, Elsie, you've not said anything. I mean, I'm happy for her. She's in a better place, love, light, and peace. That's what she used, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing. Um, maybe when the depression is trending now, like you said, and like you first said, we're not going to say this is cloud chasing because she's talked about it before. before. But mm -hmm. I think people that have gone through this and are in a better place now should um, give more descriptive analysis mm. when they're talking. What mm -hmm. did you do? Exactly. Did you go to? Yes. Like, let people be able to learn from your experience, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. just telling us, yes. everybody, oh, I suffer depression. Oh, and I suffer it. depression. That's uh, we know. Yeah. So what did you do? Who exactly. did you see? What doctors? What, what, what medications you go were through? available? What did mm -hmm. you go through? How did the people around you react? How were yes. you able to handle their own reactions? Yes. How were you able to overcome? Let's be able to help people mm -hmm. going through this to come out stronger. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Let's yeah. not just yeah. give the uh, depression mm -hmm. everybody suffering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it. like you say, you know, to, to come out uh, stronger, which was one of the things that mm -hmm. she said um, after this whole experience that she's come out um, stronger as well. So. Mm -hmm. I think anyone who wants to say, you know, they've been depressed in the past should really tell us the story to, um, to inspire. I, 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 I agree, I, but I just think sometimes depression can be so tricky. Mm -hmm. And most of the people that I know, at least personally, that battle with that, speaking about it is something that they're never really like, no, when good you, when at. You've gone through it. Like but even she talking has... about what the issue is, what if okay. the depression is, my, my source of depression was from, from my immediate family. Mm -hmm. It's not something I want to be talking about, like, oh, my dad did this, or my sister mm -hmm. did this, and then my brother did. Like, okay, you don't there, know what the source is. There is a is. way to share some certain type of stories without, without revealing it away. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to use um, women and pregnancy, for example. There is a, an Instagram post I saw. I, don't, I think I shared it with... Postpartum depression? Or, yeah. No, not postpartum depression. Oh, okay. The different um, cravings. Right. Pregnancy yeah, I saw that, yeah. Like... <laughs> I'm going to make a thread on it. There are so many, mm -hmm. so many, right? And because people are coming out to say, this is what I went through, this is what I went through. When a young man gets married and the wife just wakes up one day and says he wants, she wants boiled water, he understands what is going mm -hmm. on. He feels, oh, this is something I can expect. So I'm not saying everybody's story can be this, the same thing. It can never be. Once it comes to depression, it's almost the same thing as what women go through when they're mm -hmm. pregnant, yeah? 
but there are ways to share the story and yeah. help people understand how to go through them. Yeah. Not necessarily what triggered it or what made you, but mm. who did you see? Who did you talk to? How many times did you have to go down and come mm. up? You know, mm. just share something to help them navigate properly, yeah. not giving us the details or whatever of your life. Mm. That's not necessary. Fair enough. Yeah. And then if I, one of the things I wanted to say, I know we're going to defer on this, but um, I still wanted to slide, because I think if you don't want to talk about it, then don't talk about it at all. You know, you don't just come in and say, okay, you've got depression and then you don't want to reveal a little bit, you know, like she was saying. It's just my personal view. I'm I mean, like, I think I think it's a very good message on your timeline, especially if you're battling to, through depression, that somebody else has come out of it, despite the fact that she didn't give insights or not. I mm -hmm. mean, it's now that you say it, it's definitely much better. But I, I was even going to say, like, it's a Nigerian thing. You, I made someone successful. And I said, how do you do it? Like, oh, it's God. It's like, yeah, he came out. He never tell you how it happened. And he, like, <laughs> but anyway. So I understand yeah. that, like, you know, that's like a African whatever thing. But I, I, I do believe that even if you don't give insight, even mm -hmm. that message of light, mm -hmm. just knowing Is that okay, somebody has come out of it before, mm -hmm. it's possible for me to do it, too. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a quick break next. But uh, when we return, we'll be bringing you the latest on what's new and what's hot. Stay right here on Plus TV Africa. You're watching Plus TV Africa and this is Tea Time. I loved the energy when I came in here. It was okay. so positive. I was like, I can't, I can't live here. My real names are Akbobio Fubo, Akbolo Bome Mere. I think my father is a comedian because most times when he calls me, he's like, yo, make sure you use condom, you know, them girls out there. <laughs> So are you telling me I should have shot my shots? If you have a younger brother. <laughs> Age is so nothing but a number. What? I'm a vampire. <laughs> I believe in equal rights for okay. women. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that a man is the head of the house. So okay. we need to draw our limits somewhere. Feels so good. Now can I do my jam now? Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back from that uh, quick break. Tea time continues right now with the next story. Ibinabo Fiberesima says entertainers care less about uh, their health. Okay. Mm. Yes, uh, fitness and wellness. <laughs> I like how she broke it down. I wish mm. you could just read out what she said and just move on. Like she explained her stance. Mm -hmm. She's not just, she knows what she's talking about mm. of how mm -hmm. this is not just about. Um, the entertainment industry, of course, it's she's talking to them, but mm -hmm. this is general. Like, it should apply we, to everyone. We don't take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We don't go for checkups. Exactly. We, you see people who even do work, um, the kind of job that is more strenuous mm. than. I mean, everyone is working, but you know there are jobs that yeah. are just yeah. not that easy on the body, and mm -hmm. they don't care. Like, mm -hmm. like she said, you wake up, you go party all night, you, then they call you for a gig, mm -hmm. you rush to the set, you're eating everything you're seeing there, you don't even mm -hmm. know what this yeah. food, what, how it is made, or think about the kind of nutrients that should be in what you want to take, mm -hmm. right? So. We need to do better as human beings. Yeah. We okay. need to take our health um, right. um, more seriously. Oshinkaya, do you can you um, relate or identify with some of the things that she said? Yeah, of course. I think it's um, relatable to everyone because at the end of the day, if you work so hard, you know that you really do not have a lot of time to take care of yourself, which is what she's actually advocating for. That you need to take time out, no matter what you do, because if you're talking about entertainers, we all know about the lifestyle of entertainers. Most of them are into substance abuse, drinking a lot of alcohol, partying all night. Not necessarily because they want to party. Now, I'm talking from my own standpoint. Mm -hmm. I need to go to a lot of places because mm -hmm. I need to make that connection. I need to meet certain people. And I yeah. know if I need to meet certain people, this is where I have to go to. That's why I so asked you. I spend a lot of sleepless <laughs> nights and I still come on this set and I still act like, yeah, go. yeah, it's all good. But it doesn't mean I shouldn't look after my health because I remember yeah. like a week ago when I was um, coming down with malaria, mm -hmm. my MD was like, you need to pack your stuff and leave here right now. Like, he wasn't even joking. It mm -hmm. was on me. That is, yeah. take 
care of yourself. That's the most important thing because if you do not take care of yourself, are you going to do put in that hard work? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're not in good health, are you going to put in the hard work? Mm -hmm. So you have to take care of yourself, take care of your body, mind, soul, and spirit, okay. and be more religious. Come closer to God. Mm -hmm. He heals you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Elsie? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to go off what she said because I don't know what to say to that. Um, yeah, it's, I don't always think that entertainers are like tied to the lifestyle. I still think everybody has a choice. You can go to those parties and not drink. You can have a glass of water. You can have Sprite. There's a lot of options, you know. So you think it's pressure, peer pressure, I don't or know social what it is. pressure? So can, I cut choice, can I cut yeah, him? Can I cut him real quick? When I say you have sleepless nights, you have to go to certain places at night, it's not necessarily for you to go and drink, for you to go and involve in substance abuse. It's because you know that is the proper place for networking. So you have sleepless nights. Deprivation of sleep But that's not alone. what Ibn Abu is talking no, about. No, I think she's talking on. about people who do it for leisure, not for yeah. work purposes. What? For leisure, not yeah, people. Yeah, but I'm also, that's, you You're know doing me. Well, sometimes you get connections you know me. from leisure. From, yes. You know me. Yeah. I always look at it from all angles. angles. The mm -hmm. fact that you are saying that mm -hmm. these entertainers go all out, they who do Who looks at it from more angles? All angles? Who does that? <laughs> who, does, who does that? Oh, my God. I didn't really like it this much. But maybe we should let you throw my conclusion. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I agree. I agree to what she said. I think another emphasis, apart from the checking up one, like if I has mentioned, it wouldn't be the lifestyle choices to begin with. Mm. I mean, it's a global problem where entertainers are solely attached to drug abuse mm -hmm. from the so-called uh, networking. There's so many ways you can kill a chicken, like they mm -hmm. say. You don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I like, I loved how she wrote it up, but I think maybe also being politically correct, she wouldn't have said that. But I even think I would even make more emphasis on the fact that as entertainers, mm -hmm. as influencers and role, uh, role models or whatever name you want to call yourself, public, fi public figures, mm -hmm. even shining more lights to, the, to this um, dissensis, Mm -hmm. of using the substances. You can mm -hmm. leisure, you can network. Business people network. Like mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be in that setting, in that manner, mm -hmm. in, in, in okay. that consuming. And the, the gin, right. Now, this is right. where I'm going to come in by saying all angles. Now, you're talking about business people. You're talking about CEOs. You're mm -hmm. talking about entrepreneurs. Now, I'm talking about somebody in the entertainment industry, such as me, as a presenter. Now, if I need to meet celebrities that I want on you my show... Come to their house. Oh, mm -hmm. really? All so right, everybody guys. Open All right, All right. Oh, oh, really? I Come want on, to quickly guys. say, before we move on to our next story, um, I like the fact that she's talked about it, and I'm... I met her like some years back, and even at that time, I had I had attended one of their meetings. It was she was the president of AGN at the time, and she was really going on about health, and she mm. made sure that everybody had like a mental insurer, a mental health plan. Health plan. Thank yeah, you very she much. That too. Yes, mm. and, and then, she also said malaria mm -hmm. and typhoid is not the only mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. she yeah. concerned about. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. also in the article, they were men they mentioned like that apparently fifteen people in um, the entertainment industry have lost their lives this to year. date this, this year. year. So. Mm -hmm. It's commendable that she's bringing this up. I also up. like how she, you could see that she's not just, she, she's the best person to um, talk about this. I mean, you, she's not pretending or just making That's noise. what I was trying to go back. 100 days Sorry. into her, into her, her uh, presidency as AGN. And she's already set up the... That's, that's what I was HMO. trying to say. That, that That's the point I was trying to make, that, you know, right from the get-go, mm. she has always been advocating for good health. Yeah. So now that she's coming out to say this, I strongly believe her, and I don't think she's yeah. saying it for clout or for, yeah. um, to stay relevant or yeah. for any kind of publicity. Well, just to drive my point home, where I was getting to with all of that before I got interrupted was that everybody look after yourself, no matter your line of work, mm -hmm. no matter the amount of time you need to spend networking, mm -hmm. regardless of what field you're in. Okay. I'm not all even right. talking about substance abuse or alcohol abuse. I'm talking about deprivation of sleep, sleep. alone mm -hmm. is enough no. to get your... All right. All right. Else, yeah. bad. So Let's watch leave it that. There. Yes, yeah. that's very good. A wonderful way to end that uh, topic. Let's move on to our next now because of time. Uh, we're talking Britney Spears next. Her dad extends conservatorship uh, to Florida, Louisiana, and Hawaii. Okay. He seeks to extend. 
six. Extended. Okay, six to extend. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much for that <laughs> correction. Okay, so now that you've made the correction, let's I start with you. I was asked question I, I did the other time. Mm -hmm. This was the same man we were told was on his dying bed. Mm -hmm. And she had to leave or cancel her tours because she wanted to take care mm -hmm. of him. Mm -hmm. So what yes. is going on? Remember I said this and if I wanted to bite my head off, I was like, this girl's issues is deeper Sorry, than who wanted to bite your head off? Oh, How many okay. other affairs are they? Sorry, I didn't I hear the name. Head. I just heard oh, okay. bite your head off. Okay. Yeah, because I remember I was saying that this is not just a celebrity issue. This is mm -hmm. not like um, the problems that come with being in the limelight. Her family mm -hmm. is, a problem. Is, is crazy. And um, each person wants the conservatorship, yes. the mom, the dad, mm. and then she herself wants like to be in control of her yeah. own life. I, I don't know mom, why that is a No, the mom. Too. No, the mom no. wants. Last mom week, said. the mom said no, something she like... she wants her to be involved just to know, not to, 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 to take true. over. Okay. She has never okay. been interested. True. Okay. Yeah. And it's, a, it's sad because on a, on, if it was any other person, right, mm -hmm. asking... First of all, I wouldn't even give anyone my... Con anyone the right to True. have mm -hmm. control in my life but because it's britney and she's had you know she histories mm -hmm. of like meant of drugs and men her mental health and all of that stuff she does need someone mm -hmm. and i and i guess that it's 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 almost unfortunate that she is there is do you want to say something your no, laugh no. is distracting oh sorry um it, so it's almost it's almost even like more sad that the people who are in that are in a close circle that's supposed to be helping her mm -hmm. through this thing looks like that's the even where the bigger I problem mean, does is she even from. have friends in the industry mm. like I, I feel like somebody from outside the family mm. needs to step in to yeah. help her mm -hmm. okay so. if what do you have to I say i agree with all of you hmm i don't believe you if go on still I, no, who no, do you agree with? I, you agree with if you agree with elsie I agree with everything. So Everybody. what do you think, though, about yes. the whole situation? Well, everything you guys think. I, okay. I agree with you. Okay. All right, moving on to our next story now. Wendy Williams' son has been arrested for allegedly assaulting her ex, Kevin Hunter. So, if I, since you didn't say anything in the last, let's hear from you first. Okay, so basically, on this story, Kevin Hunter was um, allegedly, or not even allegedly, because he's been arrested. Um, mm -hmm. He was arrested for punching his dad, but he's not pursuing charges, and I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it was a father and son conversation that got out, out of, control. of control. And yeah, he put his son in, in, in a headlock mm -hmm. and saying that he's been brainwashed, and mm -hmm. um, he punched him in the process. And he's not pursuing charges because he says he loves his son. And um, I just see how this plays out yeah he wants spousal support so okay if he oh. wins fine mm -hmm. if he doesn't, okay nice. i know your face your expression Please, go to oh, i'm coming to elsie i was like before we come to you <laughs> no, it's even ridiculous that he's saying he doesn't want to press charges because he loves his son mm. price the charges now let's see what happens yeah. you know but um the brainwash is it just starting <laughs> When did no, this start? Saying, like, he's saying he said he's been brainwashed. I mean, by the mom, the mom or, right? Yes, I'm yes. saying mm -hmm. in the space of how long did this mm -hmm. brainwash happen? happen. What has okay, been the relationship point, in yes. that family before, mm -hmm. before you then. were you had to move or she had to move? I can't mm -hmm. remember who moved now. Mm -hmm. So um this I think this is going to be a very long, messy divorce case. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's not ready to be the bigger person and understand that the problem or the we don't know what is really happening inside but I believe you're talking from what we've seen or yeah. the news that they've given us. So from what we know, he seems to be the problem. He yeah. seems to be the one cheating. He ha he's the one with a baby mama somewhere. Mm -hmm. He's the one buying gifts for expensive for ones. Elsie, Elsie, you sorry, know, sorry for to cut in. Else there. I, I, because we've talked about this so many times, I want us to or I want you to dwell on him and the son, you know, let's leave the marriage out of it just I for mean, a moment. Everything, everything comes in play because for yeah. the son to wake up mm -hmm. and try Change, to punch yeah. the dad yeah. while they're having a conversation, it definitely has to be with what yeah. is going yeah. on right mm -hmm. now. Can I, can I say something? Okay. Please? Can I? Ife, can you hold on? Because I still need to get her thoughts no, and no, then no, she needs to conclude. Say, let him say. Okay. No, 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 you go. You first. No, I want to conclude. Okay. okay. Go ahead then. All right. For me, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with um, what Elsie is saying that mm -hmm. a, a child usually starts to um, display this car. It's one on one psychology of like when a parent, a parents are going through divorce, divorce, divorce. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I I know that this isn't something that's in character for the for the for the son because some some um, um, stories I've seen is also bringing up the ad, the side of like male violence and all that. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's what this is. Mm -hmm. And if he's going to his father and not the mother, like he's not having the issues with his mother, it's you know it's fair to agree to what Elsie has said that because of all the stuff that he's been doing that's messing up the family and all of that mm -hmm. stuff, I personally don't even support that kind of 
character yeah. as well. Yeah. So, Behavior. Yeah. Okay, so one of the things that I saw was the cause of the fight apparently was child um, support. I don't know if you guys saw that. Mm -hmm. The spousal, you saw that, Child yeah? support? Spousal, was it child spousal support? Spousal support. Okay. They well, were the, arguing the, about... The, the son went to talk to him about the spousal support. No, that's the conversation I mean, that's they were having. A, no, no, that's alleged. Like, it's mm. not like it was confirmed. All they know is this happened and then the boy was arrested and released. Nobody no, what knows no, the real conversation. It's actually confirmed because it's that's what been I'm saying that. that it was over the spouse's fault. Mm -hmm. So, um, if uh, okay. you go ahead and conclude. Well, I just want to say that um, I would really like us to, you brought up something saying that um, we don't know what has been going on in the family and the fact that we actually do not know what's going on in the family. I can't hear you. I said the fact that we do not know what is actually going on in the family mm -hmm. means that we should be able to have a balance mm -hmm. and know that, okay, what if we look at, yes, in as much as Kevin Hunter is all the way guilty, mm -hmm. we all agree, but we do not know what's going on with the spousal support. We do not know a lot of things, like you said, in the family that mm -hmm. is going on. So I think we should leave the family out and let's just focus on what, what is actually going on right now. Okay. The son punching his dad and okay. being arrested. I think the ladies are going to disagree, but we have to move on. Yes. You cannot it's separate. Yes, separate. You can't separate the two. All right, let's leave it there because on that note, we need to wrap up on tea time. We're out of time, unfortunately. So my big thank yous go as always to my co-anchors, Elsie Godwin, Ife Oshunkeye, and Ife Omai. The entire production team too, and our group of stylists, Kutis Empire and Liz Harrison. I'm Tokum Botairo. Thanks for watching, and I must invite you uh, to join us later today for afternoon tea. Bye for now.